Hello, and welcome to In Case You Missed It for May 2017. I'm Melvin the Crimson Taurus, and let's get into it. Firstly, Unexplained Possibilities had three podcasts in the month of May. Yes, that's right, three. The first podcast was with me, Emma, and we were going over the seven universal principles. This was a very informative talk, and I'm sure people will come away with a type of enlightenment, so to speak. While some of the concepts were a bit confusing, overall, they work in everyday life, and you really can take a lot from them. The second podcast consisted of myself and a panel of guests, J.D. Temple, Bonnie Woodruff, and Eric McGill from Ectovision Paranormal. This talk was very interesting as we were going over good and evil. Different views came out and very deep experiences came out. And I think we all decided that ultimately there's no right or wrong answer because the views of what's good and what's evil is all going to be determined by the person looking at it. The final show of May was with psychic medium Kelly Ferguson. We had a great talk about spirit communication, what a psychic is, and her experiences among a few other fun little things. I can tell you now that Kelly is indeed the real deal. She's no Miss Cleo, so it was fun having her on and speaking with her. If you'd like to check out those podcasts, then check the description below and you'll find the links. Next up, we have a couple of UFOs. Yes, May had quite a few UFO sightings, and I have three here that I'm going to talk to you about, and all of them come from my hometown of Los Angeles. The first UFO was captured May 7th by Patrick Kiernan. Patrick was in Griffith Park when the UFO showed up. He says it was quiet and gone within 10 minutes. This next UFO could potentially be a fake, so you're going to have to decide for yourself. This comes from Alien Mystery, and while the video is from October, I came across it in May, and it's too interesting not to talk about. As you can see, it appears that the UFO is opening some type of portal and leaving. How awesome is that? Again though, this could be a fake. But you know the saying, at times, facts are often stranger than fiction. The final UFO comes from UFO Institute. On May 28th, multiple UFOs were captured in a single area flying around. It's not uncommon to see UFOs grouped together, but usually the grouping occurs at night and not so much during the day. Here's something that's interesting. May 30th, astronomers report that they believe one of the moons of Saturn, Enceladus, which is a large oceanic moon, was flipped. Yes, a flip turned upside down. Astronomers say that an asteroid hit the moon and caused it to wobble and become unsteady, and its rotation was shifted. It was unstable for about a million years before becoming steady once more, and in that time, the southern pole and the north pole shifted and they changed places makes you wonder about our moon and if something like that has happened to it or could potentially happen to it. Now I normally don't do this but I'm going to be a little political here because it was a couple of events that happened in the US specifically or involving the US and let's talk about those for a second. Firstly, the Flint water crisis is still not fixed. If you don't know, Flint, Michigan is a city that has an abundance amount of lead in their water 
and it looks like that the local government knew about it, but they didn't care, and it's affecting the poorer residents or lower income residents more so than anyone. And they're expecting people to still pay their taxes for this poisoned water, which they can't drink. And right now, the people are against it. They're not going to pay their taxes. And now the city are trying to evict them, which is ridiculous. I wouldn't pay for poisoned water. This is a life source that is free. Luckily, this crisis did make it to mainstream media, a little bit anyway, and people are talking about it, and the pipes that are containing lead and affecting everyone, they are being changed. The issue is they're going at a very slow pace, and it won't be completed until about 2020. In the meantime, the local government is telling the Flint residents to pay their taxes and just use bottled water. Also of interesting news, do you remember the Dakota Access Pipeline? Oh yeah, I know you do. Well, it turns out all the people who were protesting it and trying to stop it were right. In May, it, we found out that this pipeline has leaked three times already, and it also looks like they were pumping oil through it before it was fully certified to be built and completed. Unfortunately, the Native American reservations are getting shafted yet again by this. And I'm very disappointed in the current president for not stopping this and spreading misinformation saying that it will create jobs and lower the cost of fuel and blah blah blah, when in truth, the jobs it created it's very temporary. You don't need that many people to work a pipeline unless they were talking about creating jobs to clean up the spills, which is devastating to the environment. And the fuel going through there, it's not for American consumption. It's being exported elsewhere. So unfortunately, there's no real benefits for this except for big corporations. Finally, leaked documents have just come out, and it shows that in Standing Rock, during the whole protest of the no on the Dakota Access Pipeline, there was a type of counter-terrorist activity going on between local authorities and the big oil companies. Yes, they were creating dossiers and people of interest for protesters non-violent protesters at that and it's very scary that our government would allow such a thing and I mean they were targeting these people like they were doing something wrong and wanted to get rid of them it's truly ridiculous so who knows maybe the USA is going into an oligarchy and away from a democracy it certainly seems that way and that concludes May 2017's In Case You Missed It. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. With that said, have a good day everyone, and see you sometime in June.